All right. Happy Monday morning. What a great song suggested by Gabriel Guild. I think I have a workaround on songs that is in the MIDI format when I was just a youngster, about the same age as all of you watching this, those of you in my class. I know there's some other people that watch, um, which is great. So anyway, it's a MIDI. When I was a kid, I used to download MIDIs because MP3s took a really long time to download. This is a true story. I would try to download an MP3, I'd get it set up, I'd click download, I'd go to bed, and I'd have to wait all night for it to download. And it was like three megabytes. So think about that next time you download a new game on PS4 or Live Store, and it's five gigabytes, and you're like, oh, I gotta wait a whole hour for this to download, or maybe more, or whatever. Five gigabytes, are you kidding me? That would have taken me until now. I would have started it when I was 12, and it would have just finished at those internet speeds. So anyway, MIDI's, I, I still like listening to them, and when I open them up on my laptop, they actually open in GarageBand, which is kind of cool because you can edit them and make them. And so that one song uh, is only, the size of it is only 54 um, kilobytes, super small. Um, so it's a, it's a cool way to make music, share music, and I think it's a way I can get around the copyrights on some modern songs. There's no singing, it's just instrumental, typically. Um, okay, so welcome to a wonderful Monday, Magic Monday. This is the um, week four, day one of MBMS Remote. See our word here, tissue. <coughs> oh, excuse me, I could use one of those. Um, I was trying to make a better sneeze. Anyway, um, so that's our word today. I was going to sit down and make an agenda, and then I saw a spark in my chair, and I was like, ah, oh, let's just go for it. It's getting a little bit late in the morning. It's 1038. I have my office hours here at 11, and um, so I want to get this recorded and uploaded before then. So anyway, let's talk about today's word, and then I'll do some announcements. Tissues are groups of cells. Oh, let me just get on my screen in front of me. That would be easier for me to read. Are groups of cells that have a similar structure and act together to form a specific function. The word tissue comes from a form of an old French verb meaning to weave. So, uh -huh -huh, I'm going to tissue you a new scarf is what they used to say in old France, I think. I don't know. I guess we should go back in time and, and try that one out. Anyway, so when we did some Cornell notes back when life was young and um, we were still there back at school, back in the old days, back when the French still used the word tissue for weave, we made a Cornell notes. And the Cornell notes started with um, where we went from the smallest single unit in the human body that's complete the cell, then a group of cells makes a tissue, a group of tissues makes an organ, and then a bunch of organs make an organ system. And so that's usually how I taught. I went, okay, let's learn about cells, then we'll learn about tissues, we'll learn about organs, we'll learn about body systems. But we're trying something new this year. We're gonna start with human body systems that we've been in for the last three weeks, and now we're talking about tissues, and then later on this week, going to the next week, we're gonna talk about cells. So on this picture, they have three different types of tissue. There's smooth muscle tissue, There's and that has um, involuntary control like in your digestive system. Then some cardiac muscle tissue that's also involuntary. And then skeletal muscle tissue, which is voluntary. You can control it, move your body around, okay? So that's just three different types of tissues. Definitely had my coffee this morning. Okay, so the announcements I want to make before we do the weather is that we illuminate is back hello uh that's exciting so i'm going to start putting your grades back up there on old illuminate there will be custom marks and those custom marks i will upload to google classroom soon once my illuminate is up and running and basically it'll be three two one zero system on illuminate it will not be shown as a number it'll be shown as a letter so um, look for that. I do have someone coming in who's our member today visiting. Oh, here comes the June bug. Welcome. You're breaking in, huh? We're talking about Illuminate and grading. Isn't that exciting? Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, look for that on Illuminate. That's coming. Another thing that I wanted to add is that, yeah. Yeah, that's the day's word. Say tissue. 
Tissue. Yeah, it's tissue. Thanks, Junie. Do you like to use tissues when you yeah. blow your nose? Yeah. Huh? Yeah? Okay. All right, I'm going to finish filming my video, okay? Do you okay. want to hang out? Okay, so uh, I'll probably go over these announcements again tomorrow. It's been a little scatterbrained. <laughs> Mr. Dixon commented last week that he thought my hair looked good, so I spent a little extra time uh, combing it this morning. He definitely likes to live precariously through my hair sometimes. Anyway, the last thing I'm going to say about announcements, we might run a little long today, is that every week I'm going to put up a weekly plan, and that plan will... It, will yes, Sparky's here. That will show you what assignments are due. It will show you... Um, the YouTube links, and most importantly, it's the only place you will find the Google Meet link because I I have to go through every time and delete the link from each classroom, and I don't want to do that. So today I will put the link on the Google Classroom on each class, but starting tomorrow, it'll only be found on the um, that weekly planned Google Doc that I'm going to upload. I did want to do weather today, but I believe I'm running long. And I want to give weather its full time, and I do also have a creature, two creatures running around this apartment, and I need to see what's happening there. Anyway, we'll do weather tomorrow, hopefully doing well. Check out the assignments I just put on Google Classroom. Uh, it's a new Zella article that I found pretty interesting. And anyway, the assignment's up. I'll talk to you all soon at office hours. Hope you're doing great. Miss all of you. And hopefully we get some good weather today, this week. Should be good. And with that, I will bid adieu.